All right, here we go. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's finish this off. So you go to winter break. No, this is Emily's test. Can you just expose you? No, I mean, it's not her test. It's like the one that she's taking. Let's do this instead here. Air, air server. All right. Okay, so solve logarithmic equations. All right, this is number one. It's pretty straightforward where it just becomes, we're going to put an exponential form, right? It's what? Uh, 3x minus 5 is equal to 4 to the third power, right? And 4 to the third power is what? 64. Add 5 to both sides. 3x is equal to 6, 9, divided by 3, x is equal to 23. Cool? Not too bad. Uh, for number letter B, um, you have to multiply it, right? Because adding means multiply, right? And so it's what? Log base two and then x plus three times x minus three is equal to four, right? Then this should be what? x plus three times x minus three is equal to two to the fourth power. Two to the fourth power is what? Two times two, a 16. So it'd be what? x squared minus nine is equal to 16. Subtract the 16 to both sides, right? We're subtracting the 16. Why are we doing that? Well, that is true. I would add, add the nine. The you, would, you could add the nine too, but I remember this is a quadratic. So it's x squared minus 25 is equal to zero. And the reason why you you subtract the 16 instead of adding the nine is because you know that if you, you kind of have to kind of like foresee this a little bit, but when you subtract the 16, it's going to be a perfect square, right? Okay. And, um, and so when you do this, it's going to be x plus 5, x minus 5, which is equal to 0. So it's x is equal to negative 5, x is equal to 5. If you if you, if you uh, added the 9, it would have been the same thing. You get the square root. It's going to be a plus or minus 5. It should have been, it would be so the same thing. Yeah. I mean, try it too. Uh, plug it in like 5. Yeah, if you plug in five, right, that's that's eight. If you plug in five for the B, like right here, five plus three is eight, right? Uh, and then five and two would be, so that five minus three would be two. So that'd be one, and that would be three. So three plus four would be, three, three plus one would be four. Yeah, we're good, right? And then, um, actually, I don't think the negative five would work, right? Because that would have been negative two plus negative eight. That'd be negative three. Yeah, I don't think the negative five works. So it's just five. Okay. If you plug it back in, it's not gonna work for four. But again, if you do this at this part, that's fine. I'm looking, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, x plus five, x minus. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, number letter C. Notice that. First of all, you want to multiply them first, all right? Because a lot of people could just drop the log, but I wouldn't drop the log here because remember, adding means multiplying. So before dropping the log, I would put log 2, 2x plus 1 equals log base 4, x minus 3 times x plus 5, okay? And then, oops, sorry, it's log, log base 4, my bad. So then now you can get rid of the logs, right? It's because it's 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 3, x plus 5. Then multiply this out. So it'll be x squared plus 5x minus 3x minus 15 is equal to 2x plus 1.
So that was what? 2x plus 1. Let's combine like terms. x squared plus 2x minus 15. Subtract the 2x. Subtract the 1. You get x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. Jack, take it away. Put it away. Put it, I know, but put it away. I know, but put it away. I'll put it away. Put, put it, but no, no cell phone. I, I, but no cell phone. You can't. No cell phones at all. Okay. Right. No cell phones at all. You have to ask me that. Don't just don't just look up your cell phone. I'll see. One, one, two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one. Don't use your cell phones. All right. Seriously. All right. I've had enough. I, I mean, there's too many people who go on mass pop up. All right. What's that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay. All right. So, oh, wait, I, I'm not going to ask. Let me I have to finish this first. All right. And that's going to be on the World Wide Web, by the way, Jack. All right. So, x, x minus 4, x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 4 and negative 4. Okay. All right. All right. Number so that's let that's letter C, right? Okay, that's number number two now. Let's go to the um rational expressions here. Remember the x squared over uh, x plus three, x minus three. You guys remember this where you have to graph the negative three of the asymptotes and the positive three. Right. And then you have to graph. Um, you, you pretty much know. Uh, and the horizontal asymptote is what? Um, it's going to be at zero. Right. The x axis, because um, the powers. Remember, the powers on the top and the bottom are the same. So you just. I think that I forget what the horizontal asymptote rules are. So is, is it one then? I thought it was like if the numerator was bigger than the denominator, then it's a zero. There was a rule. Yeah. So, so for the, the so yeah. Yeah. it's m over n, so it's one then, right? Because the x is the the top number. Let me just look it up. Yeah. We. Yeah, to divide the leading coefficient. So if the powers are the same, x squared, x squared, you just divide it by one or divide it by the coefficients, which is one and one. So that's one. So the horizontal asymptote would be this way. All right. And then you just have to pretty much just plug in numbers for this. Right. So uh, plug in like negative four. All right. So it would be what? Negative four squared over negative four plus three, negative four minus three. So that would be what? Uh, 16 over negative one times negative seven, which will equal what? 16 over seven, right? So that's, so it's gonna be up in this area right here. So it's gonna be something like this here. And plug in zero, right? You plug in zero, that'll be negative zero over negative nine. So it'll be one, two, negative three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Plug it. So you want to plug in a lot of numbers in between uh, three and negative three, all right? Because that will kind of tell you. And remember in the middle portion, you could cross the horizontal asymptote, okay? It's just the outside portions where you can't. 
All right, but the middle portion you can't. All right, so you may want to do a, a bunch of numbers. Did, did anybody get one? One squared over, did anybody get any of these numbers? Four times two, that's what, one over eight? All right, two would be four over five times one, which would be four over five. All right. Let's look this up a little bit. Yeah, what's up? Um, so my X and Y is the origin, zero, zero. Zero, zero? How'd you get zero and zero? Because if you plugged in, oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. My bad. That's why it's like off. Because uh, zero over nine is zero. No. Yeah. Thank you. And then, let's look this up here. Y equals X. Oh. All right, so it's going to look something, I guess it's, this should be negative. Anyway, it's going to look something like this. It's going to look something like this. Just plug in numbers, and then it's going to look something like this. Okay. Cool. Sorry, I, I, I think I missed, I, I think I put one incorrectly. Negative four, yeah, one. One plus three is four, one minus three is negative two. That's why it's negative. It should all be negative, so yeah. So it should look something like this, okay? Let's plug in numbers, go from there. <clears throat> Number two, um, or letter B, uh, you have the what, X minus four, two and x plus two, you have to factor it out over x minus two, right? Cancel, cancel. So you're pretty much just graphing a linear equation, one, two, right? And go up one, right one. So you draw this line right here. And there's gonna be a hole at two, right? Yeah, because you canceled it out. So there's gonna be a hole there. Make sure you put the hole, you're good there, all right? Cool. All right, number uh, three. All right, we have um, pretty straightforward. I mean, you're just moving the graphs. Let's just look at Wait, the graph. The, hole the hole's at two. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, two, three, yeah. Whatever the x value of two hits. Uh, number number three, I would write out write out all the points first. I think that's easier than all right. Um, and then I would. Uh, do these points, okay? So, um, and then I would translate. So A is the, what? F of X is plus two, plus three, right? So remember, if it's inside the parentheses, you do the opposite sign, right? Okay? And so you're, with the X value, you're subtracting two, right? So it'll be negative six, and then you're adding three to the Y value. Subtracting two, would be minus four, adding three, seven. Subtracting two, adding three. Subtracting two, adding three. Subtracting two, adding three. Okay, so those are your uh, new points. All right?
for number uh letter what's gonna call it letter b it's what multiplying by one half and that anything outside has to deal with what the y axis right the y numbers all right and it's a vertical shrink right if it's one half correct so you're just all you're doing is just multiplying the y values by one half all right so again you're doing it from the original you're doing it from the original so you just multiply the y values by one half so it'll be negative four zero negative two uh two zero zero say again let say again Move it to the right yeah, and then we'll do that afterwards. Okay, yeah. So yes, let's just let's just do the one half first, and then we'll move it to the, and then what? Um, zero one half, right? And then what? Two three over two, right? Is that right? So we just did the one half portion. We just multiplied it by one half, all the y values. Now we have to then do the x minus one portion, right? And so what does that do? You have to add one. You have to shift one to the right, correct? So this is the a. Uh, this is the one half portion, and then I'm adding one to the x value. Okay, so it's what negative three zero, uh, negative one two, one zero, one one half, and three and three halves. Okay, so these are your final values that you're gonna graph. Are there? Wait, which one? Because, hold on a second. Wait, why is it one half? Because I'm multiplying it by one half, right? I'm multiplying the Y value by one half. Yeah, so wait, two, two, negative two, wouldn't it just be negative one if you multiply it by half? Yeah. Which one is that? Which one are you talking about? Two, negative two. Negative You're two. right. It should be one half. Thank you. You mean one? One. Just negative one. Or one, yeah. And then? So multiplying negative two should be negative one. Sorry. And then I looked at this value. My bad. I looked at this value. And then that's why it's three half. And then this is at zero. Sorry. Okay. My bad. It's my ADD again. Sorry. One half is a zero. Thank you. Is that everything good? Yeah. One, I multiple. I'm have to do it this one. I just when I was doing when I was teaching, I was looking at here, and so and so this should, and I should move the next one here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this would be negative one, and this should be zero. Cool. The x's should be from zero zero to one zero. Uh, so don't look at here. Don't look at this right here. You're looking at here. Look, I went from yeah. here to here, right? Right. So okay, so I should sorry, thank you. And then so I should add one to the I should add one to the zero. So that'd be one. This should be three then, right? Yes. And then this should be five. Right? Yes. My bad. Yeah. What the heck? Why is it? And nothing works. <laughs> it's like, all right. What what happened? So I'm looking here. I I'm adding one to the x, right? So that's three. I'm adding one. So that's five. Adding one. I'm adding one. Okay, so that should be good now. Cool. I'll rewrite this negative three zero negative one comma two one comma zero three comma negative one and then five comma zero cool all right all right we good all right and then um uh, for letter c what do we do So flip the, if it's negative on the outside, what happens? Reflection over the x axis, right? So then the y values all turn negative, right? 
if you reflect over the x axis, you're you're switching the sign of the y values, right? Can I get amen or we get we good? All right. So, uh, right. So we have we have a negative on the outside. All the y values. We're flipping over the x axis, right? So we're flipping each sign. So let's look at the. So we're, we're flipping all the y values. So it would be what negative four zero. Negative two, negative four, zero comma zero, two comma two, and four comma zero. Okay, so that's the negative portion, right? And then what do we do if it's inside, the two is inside? What do we do with the y values? What are the x values? Shrink it. So each x value will be sh shrunk by one half, right? That makes sense? Okay, so each x value from here will be shrunk by one half. So it would be negative two, zero, negative one, negative four, zero, zero, one, two, and two, zero. Yeah, or divided by two. All right. And then letter letter G here, or le sorry, letter D, we have, okay, let me put the numbers here, negative four, zero, negative two, comma, four, zero, comma, zero, two, comma, negative two, and four, zero. We're doing two things. We're multiplying the y value by one half, and we're multiplying the x value by, sorry, we're multiplying the y value by two, and we're multiplying the x value by two as well. We good? All right, so just multiply everything by two, so it'll be negative eight, zero, negative four, eight, zero, zero, four, negative two, negative four, and eight, zero. Cool. All right, any questions on that? So, um, Both the X and the Y by two, yeah. Okay. All right. And last but not least, um, Y equals cosine, your, your, your graphing that Y is equal to three cosine two X. And you have to graph this. So remember the period is one, right? One pi, correct? Is one pi. Remember you divide pi into four pieces. So this would be pi over four, pi over two, three pi over four and pi. And then you do that again, it would be five pi over four, three pi over two, so on and so forth. And then um, all you have to do is just start at three and negative three, it should just do something like this. Right? And on this side too, something like that. All right, are we done? I think that's it, my friends. So that's your final.